What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, DBTV here, back with a brand new basketball talk. If you're not a best one yet, you gotta hit that subscribe button now, turn on that post notification bell, because the grind is real. And free agency has started. The offseason has begun, because the Lakers finally got Anthony Davis after waiting for over a season. They finally got Anthony Davis. They were going to trade their whole team at the trade deadline for Anthony Davis, but that's not the case anymore. But they did trade a lot of assets, and this is why I'm going to be making a basketball talk on this insane trade that just happened. Got it from Legion Hoop. Shout out to Legion Hoop. Follow them on Twitter if you have a Twitter account. Also, follow me on Twitter. But, um... We're going to go over the pros and the cons for both of these teams in this trade and what both these teams should do now. So, in the trade, the Lakers obviously received Superstar, the best big man in the league right now, Anthony Davis, who played for the Pelicans for his whole career. And this is going to be a very interesting scenario because the Lakers gave up a lot of assets and they just showed that they're in win now mode and this is going to make things very interesting because you know LeBron produces well when he's paired up with an all-star slash superstar. Reason why he did not make the playoffs this season is because not only the injury bug but he had no Robin with him because Batman always had Robin. LeBron James is Batman, who is Robin for the LA Lakers? I can't, I can't think. Yes, they had some great young players on the team, but there was nobody that could really, you know, that was an all-star on that team that just caught your eye. And LeBron has produced it well when he's with All-Stars. That is why he won championships back-to-back -back in Miami with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade. Two All-Stars! Then in the 2016 season, LeBron James won a ring for his home, Cleveland Cavaliers. And who did he have? All-Star Kyrie Irving. But now, LeBron James finally has a big man that he is getting paired up with and this is going to be very interesting very dangerous and we're gonna find out for ourselves as basketball fans is Anthony Davis does Anthony Davis have what it takes to win a championship ring because now there is no excuses whatsoever for Anthony Davis he was on the bitch ass Pelicans for his whole career they did not do anything to help him. They did not get stars to build around him. Draft picks weren't that good. The picks that they picked with the front office. They did not take advantage of having Anthony Davis. They kind of screwed Anthony Davis up like they did with Chris Paul back in 2005 when they drafted him. So we're really going to find out now what Anthony Davis is worth and we're gonna find out is Anthony Davis really a superstar yes he put up great stats in New Orleans in the regular season but he's only been to the playoffs two times yes he brought the Pelicans to the second round and obviously lost to the Warriors that year but he hasn't really been in the playoffs that much, and he has not been anywhere near a title contender because now you are pairing the king up with the bro, and that is a championship contender right there. Two superstars. You got the best in the game, and then you got the best big man in the game right now. What do I think the Lakers are going to do now in free agency? They're going to sign Kyrie Irving. Kemba Walker. Yes, I am calling it right now. Kemba Walker or Kyrie Irving is joining the LA Lakers. And for me, I hope they get Kyrie Irving. Please. Because I was okay as a Brooklyn Nets fan. 
I was okay with pairing D'Angelo Russell up with Kyrie Irving. But now, Bleacher Report and all ESPN and all these freaking people are saying that if we get Kyrie Irving, D'Angelo Russell is out. And I want D'Angelo Russell to stay. He is an all-star. He brought us Brooklyn Nets to the freaking playoffs. So if Sean Marks, Kenny Atkinson, you get rid of freaking Kyrie Irving. If you get rid of D'Angelo Russell for Kyrie Irving, who did not do well in Boston his last season, I will lose my shit. And I will break something, I swear to God. So please, I am praying that the LA Lakers, you go after Kyrie Irving this offseason, pair Kyrie back with LeBron and Anthony Davis, then you got yourselves a big three, plus you got Kyle Kuzma as well. And you got yourself some cap money. So this is going to be very interesting what the LA Lakers do because now they have some big decisions to make this free agency. And I can't wait as a basketball fan to see what the LA Lakers are going to do because they have not been this hyped up in such a long time. They have been going through hell. But a lot of people are thinking, oh, Freaking, yeah, the freaking, the Lakers won the trade because they got Anthony Davis. Oh my God, we won the freaking trade. Pelicans just got a bunch of young assets. But in my opinion, I think both these teams won the trade. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on the New Orleans Pelicans. They are set for the next few years. They are going to be, I think, a dark horse going into next season. Because we don't really know what they're going to do. But um, in the trade, the Pelicans received Lonzo Ball, my boy Z02, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, 2019 fourth overall pick, and two future first round picks. Wow. And what's going to make this very interesting is Lonzo Ball. Lots of people are saying he's a bust. He can't shoot. He can't play offense. All he could do is play defense, and he's a great playmaker. But this season, Lonzo proved himself, I think. B besides the injury that happened to his knee before the All-Star break, he was balling. And he was the best defensive player on that Lakers team. And now Lonzo Ball gets a fresh new start. It did not work out well in... LA and I think this is something that years to come the Los Angeles Lakers are going to regret getting rid of Lonzo Ball because now whether the Pelicans trade Lonzo or they keep him I think Lonzo Ball is going to go off next season he has a lot to prove and I think Lonzo Ball is going to put in the work this offseason. And he is going to prove critics wrong. He is going to prove why Magic Johnson selected him with the second overall pick. And why the LA Lakers made that dumb move by trading D'Angelo Russell to the Brooklyn Nets. I think Lonzo Ball is going to be a sleeper in this trade and I think if he goes to the Pelicans man you pair that man up with Zion Williamson and then you got your boy Brandon Ingram in there Josh Hart also you get a freaking another young asset with the fourth overall pick and if you keep Drew Holiday that is a crazy team right there very underrated if they even re-sign Julio Okafor or if they bring back Julius Randle things are going to get very interesting in New Orleans now another person I think that's going to have a breakout season next year if he gets the playing time in New Orleans is Brandon Ingram and we saw a huge difference with Brandon Ingram from the beginning of last season to the All-Star break. After that All-Star break, Brandon Ingram started balling before he had that um, injury. With I think he had a blood clot in his leg. But um, I think Brandon Ingram is going to be a great scorer for this team. And I think it's another weapon to build around Zion. Because you have to realize what the Pelicans are doing right now. They are building around Zion Williamson who I think is going to be a guaranteed superstar in this league if he stays healthy. So now Zion Williamson got a nasty defender in Lonzo Ball 
also a playmaker in Lonzo Ball. This man is going to give Zion that freaking dime every single time. Brandon Ingram, who is going to score, 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 score. And if that man adds some weight, the sky is the limit. But now he does not have to because Zion Williamson is built like a freaking football player in the freaking line. In the freaking line. He's built like a linebacker. So now, Brandon Ingram, you can still look like Slenderman, okay? Also, they get an underrated guy in Josh Hart, who is a shooter. Shooters are going to shoot. And now, Zion does not have to really worry about shooting, because now, you got another weapon in Josh Hart, who is going, I think, to get his best three-point stats next season. And he is a sharpshooter. Friggin' gold. Not Hall of Fame yet, but definitely gold. Also, to get the number fourth overall pick. So, another young asset on top of the number one overall pick with Zion Williamson. And if some way, somehow, R.J. Barrett falls to the number fourth pick, you pair him back up with Zion Williamson. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be very interesting. Also, two future first-round picks, which I don't think are going to matter. They would matter if Anthony Davis was going to leave the Lakers, but I think Anthony Davis is going to lock in a fat contract with the Lakers. He's staying. He wants to play in L.A. with LeBron. He made it clear. His agent made it clear. Same agent as LeBron James, Rich Paul. And this is pretty much the trade. And the Pelicans, man, they have a nice, young-looking team. Like I'm saying this on Twitter, Drew Holiday, if they can trade Drew Holiday and get themselves another young asset, the sky is the limit for the New Orleans Pelicans. I think having Drew Holiday there would be good, but now you got Lonzo Ball who can play that defense that Drew Holiday was doing. And I think Lonzo Ball, I'm hoping Lonzo does not get traded or leave, or leave you know, he doesn't leave the Pelicans, because I think that this could be a really good opportunity for Lonzo Ball, especially, I think, a Ball-Williamson duo right there, that's going to be something very, very scary. Because Lonzo, his, his best thing about his game is playmaking. Zion Williamson is going to take advantage of that. He is going to be bullying NBA players for years to come. Then they also can bring back Julie, Julia Okaford as well, who actually had a great season for them. But they do have a couple contracts like Salmon Hill that they need to immediately get rid of. But overall, man, the Lakers finally got Anthony Davis, and things are about to get very interesting. If you're watching this, anybody in the freaking offices of the Los Angeles Lakers, please sign Kyrie Irving. Like, please sign Kyrie because, okay, oh my God, I want rather have D'Angelo Russell on my team than Kyrie Irving. So please, I'm begging you, Lakers, pair freaking LeBron James back up with Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis and there you go that's your big three you will contend and I think you guys will depending on the free agency moves that you guys make you guys could possibly make the NBA Finals next year and I think we can see maybe a Lakers versus Toronto Raptors NBA Finals if they sign Kawhi Leonard back and I think that would be a very interesting series but, um, hold up. Breaking, Lakers will ag aggressively pursue Kemba Walker now that they're acquiring Anthony Davis. <sighs> Please try to acquire Kyrie Irving. Kemba Walker, just stay in Charlotte, please. Just do that for me, okay? And then the Lakers and Pelicans trade talk stop because Boston wouldn't include Jason Tatum. Well, wow, the Celtics are smart because if you got rid of Jason Tatum and Brown and all your young team and you got this Anthony Davis for one year because his agent already said he would only play one year and he wouldn't want to leave. So Celtics, you... 
basically stopped yourself before a big disaster happened. But um, overall, I think both of these teams won in their own way. I think a lot of people are gonna like throw th throw this out of proportions, and they're really just gonna, you know, sleep on the Pelicans because I think the Pelicans got some hidden gems on their team. And they're young. They still have mad potential to really do something. Will they be in the playoffs next year? Probably not. But it's good to build a young team. And now this is something the Pelicans have something to look forward to. A young team. Just like Anthony Davis' shirt said in the last um, game. That's all, folks. If you guys want more basketball talk videos... Smash that like button because this offseason there's going to be a lot of videos on me giving you guys my opinion about some of these moves that are being made because this is going to be one of the most craziest offseasons in NBA history. If you're not a best one yet and you're into basketball, please hit that subscribe button now. Turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on a brand new video. Links down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All my social medias are down below and to all the best ones out there worldwide best one nation we're taking over and please lakers sign kyrie irvin so that the brooklyn nets can bring back d'angelo russell take it easy guys